So hopefully you enjoyed the, this shoot, but I wanna quickly go over a few things, a few tips uh, that I like to share with you guys regarding the shoot that I learned and hopefully you would like enjoy it as well, maybe use it into your own uh, craft as well. First tip I wanna give you guys is to make sure that you prep and prep before you shoot. A lot of photographers, including myself, have a Pinterest board where we have a board of inspirations and depending on the type of shoot that we're gonna do, we just pop a bunch of ideas in there and see what sticks. Those are the type of things you wanna have done before the shoot, that way you have a game plan already set up, ready to roll, just go ahead and shoot this thing and make it nice. You also wanna think about the type of camera you're gonna be using. Are you gonna be using a high megapixel camera because maybe the shoot that you're doing is gonna be on a billboard or something like that. So you wanna think about those things. Uh, one thing you don't wanna do is go into a shoot and say, oh man, I wish I had this and kind of like live in this like re regretful moment. <laughs> and um, then you're kind of just squandering around trying to figure out what to do with the, the shot and all that stuff. So one of the biggest things when it comes to prepping is making sure that you have all of the ingredients for your plate. That way you're not like forgetting something and then you're gonna have to go to the store really quick or maybe just forget the shot because you don't have the ingredient that you need. It might be the key ingredient. So just make sure you have all the product with you and, and place it nicely. And uh, that way, you know, you can have a really good time actually doing it. This is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. Final thing when it comes to prepping is figuring out where your place is gonna be at. So like for instance, we have these dual boards from V-Flat. Big shout out to V-Flat for sending me their new dual boards. These are amazing double-sided texture graphic boards that you wipe them down, you know, if you want to spill something on it, wine, juice, soda, a drip chocolate syrup all over it, and I was able to wipe it down. Uh, but these have really good quality, and the fact that they have in different sizes, depending on where you're gonna put your boards at, you know, they have a variety of sizes. I believe it's a two by two, and I believe they have the bigger size. I don't know the bigger size, it's right here. Okay, so now you're dialed in, right? You're fully prepped, you have your ingredients, you have your camera settings, your camera gear, your lenses, right? You have the boards, you know, your textures, all that stuff. Now we need to play with the actual plating itself. I ended up using two different plates just to kind of play with the image itself and contrast within the colors and the strawberries and the chocolate syrup and the syrup and it was it was good. I mean, I, I made it myself after I made it. It was it was good. It was some good stuff there. If you're using one plate, you know, a dead center shot is great, but try playing with the thirds. You know, you have the right third, the, the left third there. You can use your grid. Um, play around with your placement. Um, and also think about, like, if you're going to be using this for an ad, are you going to be adding text to this image? So those are the kind of things you want to think about when you're plating. Um, it's not just all about, like, you know, having the strawberries and the chocolate, you know, the chips, all that stuff. Well, you want to think about, like, what's going to be used for, what's the intention for this photo, and um, how is the client going to be using it? So what I ended up doing was moving my light up and down left to right just to see where I like to have like that shadow placement and for this instance as I have not high ceilings in my basement um, I needed to actually double diffuse my light so what I ended up doing was getting a 5-1 reflector putting it the diffusion panel inside of the umbrella with diffusion there's like three, diff three different diffusions going on here it's kind of crazy but I needed to soften the shadows within my plate and so what I also ended up doing was I grabbed my v-flat board here um, and I used the white side to pop in some light in there just to take away some of the shadows around the fork and the spoon. I'm pretty sure you're wondering, hey Josh, why do you want me to check out the shadows? It's really important to look at your shadows. <laughs> There's a few things that come with that, right? You can get hard shadows, you can get soft shadows. Is your image contrasty? Do you want it to be light and airy, right, so to speak? Uh, do you want to have some depth with it? Like those shadows play a big role and it's not that you can, I mean, you can kind of recreate it in Photoshop, but it won't feel as natural. So you want to kind of capture that in camera right from the back. I ended up putting the V-flat board to my left so that the light hits and it can bounce some light into the shadow area where the, where the fork and the knife was. Uh, place that and yeah, I mean, I was able to take away some of the shadows and soften the shadows up and I just like it that way for this particular shot, especially for a flat lay image. For me, I think it just plays well with the type of photograph that I was taking. If I was shooting a 45 degree image, um, I would like to get some more contrast, some more shadows, uh, but um, that'll be for another video. Because I have another video coming out with this stuff and it, that one should be fun. Dark and moody, that's all I gotta say, dark and moody. So those are the few things I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more of these, let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas, even some tips or tricks, just let me know in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys, especially those food photographer enthusiasts and professionals. We'd love to see what you guys are thinking, what are you guys using. Maybe you have some tips or tricks when it comes to um, working with the shadows and the image. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below. Share this video with your friends and all that good stuff. Until next time, stay awesome, stay fresh. Keep creating. Peace.